Welcome back. We have Juneteenth, ADOC versus DOJ and Space Command. My name's Ike Morgan and we're down in Alabama. <music> President Joe Biden signed a bill Thursday afternoon to make Juneteenth the 11th federal holiday. The Senate passed the bill unanimously earlier this week, and the U.S. House of Representatives had only 14 members vote against the measure, including Alabama Representatives Mo Brooks and Mike Rogers. AL.com's Mike Kaysen reports that shortly after the signing, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey issued a proclamation closing state offices today, except where they have essential personnel. Uh Uh-oh, there goes that essential worker labeling again. The governor said the state employees who work today should get a day off as soon as possible. Now, the Alabama State Legislature next session could pass a bill to make Juneteenth also a regular state holiday. Or the governor could herself or himself designate the day a holiday each year. Juneteenth is a day that's been traditionally celebrated in connection with the end of state-sanctioned slavery in the U.S. At the end of the Civil War, Arms were being laid down at different times in different parts of the South, and obviously word traveled slower back then. Britt Hume had to deliver the news on horseback. And on June 19, 1865, more than a month after Appomattox, federal troops arrived in Galveston, Texas, and forced emancipation there. It's been a state holiday in Texas since the early 80s. The Alabama Department of Corrections wants a judge to drop part of that DOJ lawsuit it's facing over the state of Alabama's prison system, reports AL.com's Mike Kaysen. The lawsuit covers a number of problems facing the state prison system, alleging violence and conditions that amount to a violation of the Eighth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution's protection against cruel and unusual punishment. And parts of the lawsuit refer to unsafe and unsanitary conditions and also a shortage of correctional officers. ADOC wants those parts dropped from the suit. Lawyers for the state argued that the unsafe and unsanitary claims were based on vague allegations from only some of the prisons, and that the examples given don't rise to the level of violating the Constitution. They also argued that the correctional officer staffing is being dealt with through a separate lawsuit, and that ADOC is already under federal court orders to fix a staffing problem. Acting Secretary of the Air Force John Rolfe held firm while testifying before Congress about the decision to move Space Command headquarters to Huntsville, Alabama, reports AL.com's Lee Roop. He told U.S. Representative James Lamborn that to his knowledge, there was no political influence to the move. Lamborn State, Colorado, had been the temporary home of Space Force HQ, and lawmakers there hated to see it get away when a decision to put the permanent HQ in Huntsville was made in January. There's even been speculation that former President Donald Trump held inappropriate sway to reward loyal lawmakers here in Alabama. But that doesn't mean this is a partisan issue. Lamborn, for example, is a Republican. Acting Secretary Roth, quote, We try to make the process as open and transparent as possible. If requested, we will send you the folks who were involved in that decision, and they'll walk you through the criteria and the math and all of that. Representative Lamborn pushed him on the expenses involved with putting up a new building in Huntsville instead of using the existing Colorado Springs facility, and Action Secretary Roth was ready for that. He said the space the permanent HQ requires means that they had have had to put up a new building in either city, and the construction and maintenance cost were significantly less in Huntsville than they were in Colorado Springs. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope you have a great weekend. Miss Lee wanted me to remind everybody to pay attention to your weather forecast the next couple of days, since we could be in for some wet weather out of that tropical system that she had been talking about since last weekend. And that also means a higher rip current risk If you're on the Gulf Coast, be careful. Try not to make some 20-year-old lifeguard risk his own life by pulling you out of the water. And don't let that encourage you either, ma'am. We'll be back here again on Monday. But as always, we're over 24 hours a day and 7 days a week on the Information Superhighway at AL.com.